Hi, this is Graham Robertson of Beloved Brands. And today we're going to talk about brand positioning for B2B brands. What I want to start off with is this simple look at finding the ideal match of what customers want and what your brand does best. Wouldn't it be great if it was this simple? It gets more complicated when we start to add in what your competitors do best. That squeezes our winning space and it also creates a losing zone which we should try to avoid where our competitors are better at something than we are. Let them own that space. It also creates a risky zone where it's a virtual tie on product features and performance quality. In this space, I'm going to show you how to use emotional benefits to try to win that zone. So it gives you a broader chance to win in the marketplace. I always have to point out the dumb zone, which is where you say things that are outside of what customers want. And in that space, you're going to lose and start talking to yourself. No one will care about those things. Our brand positioning process looks at four elements. The target definition of who we're talking to. We look at where you play in the competitive set. And then we look at the main benefit as the way you will win. We're going to find a way to balance the functional and emotional benefits and back that up with a reason to believe a support point that will help our benefit come to life. I want to introduce you to this B2B customer benefits ladder where we start by defining the customer. We might look at their need states, their enemy and insights to add flavor to them. We then look at the product features, which is what you do best, your strengths, your claims, your points of difference. We then look at the functional benefits using the voice of the customer. So what do I get? And the emotional benefits using that same voice of the customer. And how will that make me feel? I want to push you to avoid fat words. These are words that mean so many things, they mean nothing at all. Nice, interesting. Quality has been destroyed by marketers for years. Nobody knows what that means anymore. I want you to build your positioning using specific words that matter to your customer and leave zero room for interpretation. Let's take a look at how we're going to do that. I offer these benefit cheat sheets. We'll start with the functional benefits that shows you different zones you can win. Stay connected is a main benefit space that you will see words around it that will help bring that benefit to life. Sensory appeal, the experience for the customer, making the customer smarter, saving them money, simplifying their life, a product that works better for them, helps them be healthier, helps their family, enhances their professional standing, drives their business results, and helps them to execute. In our functional benefits, you will see 12 different zones to play into. I want you to focus on what you think are the two to three that make the most sense and then grab two to three of the words around them to build out a benefit cluster. We'll do the same thing on the emotional cheat sheet as we offer 12 different benefit spaces here as well. Curiosity for knowledge, optimism, comfort, the feeling of freedom, getting noticed, feeling liked, staying in control, fits with values and self-assured, and then it could be a sense of belonging or feeling revitalized or a sense of pride. 
So again, start to play around with two to three that make sense for you. And let me show you one of our case studies to show you how this comes to life. This is Gray's Industrial Products, which is a tool company that distributes tools. They have a broad range of tools and a broad range of customers. I picked this type of customer because many times these are the hardest ones to define. And so let's look at how we use our cheat sheets to narrow in on what make, makes sense for this brand. So first of all, I'm going to narrow in on the three functional benefits of working better, saving the customer money, and the experience comes to life. On the emotional benefits, I'm going to look at knowledge, control, and self-assured and helping the customer make the best decisions possible. If we come back to our overall ladder, we could see the things that you do, what they get from that, and how they feel. So you offer a broad range of tools, experience across industries, you have expert tradespeople on staff, and same day delivery. And then we move up and we see the different functional benefits and the different emotional benefits. I'm going to now take these clusters of benefits and start to brainstorm possible benefit statements that I think can help us to win. And in the functional benefits, I might start off with a bunch of I get statements. I get access to the broadest range of tools. I get help when I'm not sure what tool I need. And I brainstorm 10 to 20 of these statements. And then with the emotional benefits, I might look at I feel type statements. I feel in control. I feel aware of the latest tools. And so we brainstorm another 10 to 20 of those type of statements. And once I have that brainstorm complete, I can take it to our simple map here of what ideas are the most ownable and what ideas are the most motivating to customers. And I like to put them on post-it notes and then start to debate and argue and maybe even seek out the customer's opinion as well, bring some salespeople in and we start to layer in where these fit on the grid. And we can see up at that winning zone, these are the highest motivating to customers and the highest potential ownability for me. The trusted advice from experienced tradespeople and order it today and get it tomorrow. And once I have those benefits, I can come back and start to build out our winning brand positioning statement. Gray's industrial products are to the hardworking people who carry tools to help them do their job. They know time is money, speed is good, and they despise any delays. Gray's is the industrial tool company that helps high-speed delivery of tools to the job site backed by the trusted advice of our experienced tradespeople. A couple of reasons to believe, speaking to the hiring of tradespeople and speaking to our high-touch service that gets you there, gets the tools there the next day to your specific job site. This is the process we use for all different types of B2B brands. You can see technology or products that might sell in to hospitals, we have a packaging company, a product company that sells into manufacturing sites, and some of the chemical companies as well. This fits with our promise of our B2B marketing training that every tool and every example we have in our training uses a B2B brand. And my belief is that that helps marketers take on these concepts and see how it can work on their type of brand and then try it out on their own brand within the training and then we provide feedback to them. 
We use our B2B Brands book to help support the training. And that way people can keep referring to it over time. Thank you for listening. And we hope this helps you with your brand positioning.